You call yourselves officers of Kairos' army, but your conduct falls short of my expectations. The court finds your accounts of Vendrian's well lacking, rife with misdirection and fallacy, fouled with baseless accusation. Sounds like the armies have been tripping over their feet to pass the blame to someone else. Careful it doesn't end up in your lap. Fakebinder, you arrive just in time. The representatives of the Vendrian's Well Siege have finished their testimony, and I cross-examine. Albatronus here wishes to put you to task for killing her master, the Iron Marshal. You recall this from Vendrian's Well, of course. The charge is murder of a subject protected under Kairos' law. The punishment is death. I hope you can answer for yourself, Fatebinder. Let us begin. Offer your testimony. We would hear your account of what led to the officer's demise. Would she? I wonder that you know this with such confidence. The disfavored are rigid adherents to Kairos' law. They do not compromise themselves without legal sanction. Unless something has challenged that honored reputation. As I have heard, though Kairos' law makes no specific allowances for the disorienting influence of mayhem, the court is sympathetic. Disorder in the field can sway even the most rigid sense of morality. However, my servants are taught to be unfaltering in their objectivity. The death of the Iron Marshal is a failing in that respect. So be it. After weighing the matter, the court finds you innocent of the charges. Normally, I would not accept wartime as a viable defense for your actions. However, the court is willing to look beyond the matter. Vendrian's well had fallen to civil war and chaos in the scramble to resolve Kairos' edict. Loyalties were questioned all around. Enough! I've let you speak enough on this subject. Lieutenants, there is a civil war afoot, and I require an explanation. Silence. The contradictions in your statements will be examined, and falsities threshed from truths. If we find you have perjured yourselves, Bled and Mark will see to your fate. Fatebinder, we will start with the matter of the Archons. Graven Ash and the voices of Nerat have declared war upon each other. In addition to violating Kairos' peace, they have thrown the conquest of the Tears into disarray. By all accounts, these hostilities began shortly after your arrival. Tell us what transpired. The Fatebinder presents testimony. I warn you both against speaking out of turn. Something more than a mere disagreement unraveled this campaign. But I will return to that in time. Let us speak of Ascension Hall. We have heard troubling accounts of your actions, including claims that you worked with the Oathbreakers known as the Vendrian Guard. As you say, and yet that was not evident from your actions. All accounts claim that you sided with the Oathbreakers. This would be the very definition of working against the Overlord's wishes. Enlighten the court. How is this not treason? Con 
continue. I will consider this testimony at length. The court thanks you for it. Is there anything you wish to add at this time? Your testimony is accepted by the court. The statements of our guests raise questions in my mind. There is much about this campaign that has caused me to wonder. A shipment of iron weapons was short on arrival. Where coveted iron is concerned, I don't believe it to be a clerical error. One of my agents recovered this seal in Echo Call. It belongs to a merchant collective. Lethian's Crossing is teeming with their kind. If you would root out treachery, I would advise starting there. Petitioners, leave us. I would have a private audience with the Fatebinder. Ascend and join me. You will find the way opened. I got it. This civil war, this feud, is an insult to Kairos' peace. It should not have taken the better part of a year to silence the last vestiges of the Oathbreakers. Our allies squabble while our enemies regroup. It falls upon the court to measure the extent of the damage and to execute the agents of disorder. I suspect that treachery, negligence, disunity, and greed have infected one or both of our esteemed allies. Until you are instructed otherwise, this matter is the court's primary focus. Graven Ash and the voices of Nerat must be examined in close detail. You are charged with observing the Archons and presenting your case that one of them has wrought chaos and disorder upon the tears. It's possible, but the momentum of the conquest up to this point suggests otherwise. The failure at Vendrian's well implies a coordinated will behind the chaos. As always, you will be held accountable for what you do in the court's name, but you are free to conduct your investigation in the manner of your choosing. You must expect lies, misdirection, and manipulation. Suffer not such obstructions of justice. At first, we were not amused by your alliance with the Tearsmen, but there is a logic, a pragmatism to the situation that we are willing to entertain. You deputized our enemies to bring order out of chaos. So long as you keep them on a tight leash, we will permit this union to continue under your auspices. The opportunity to bring peace through collaboration rather than warfare is one we shouldn't ignore. But if these Oathbreakers trust you, then take advantage of the connection. If indeed Graven Ash or the voices of Nerat conspire with our enemies, this would explain much of the events in Vendrian's Well and the feud ignited therein. Be careful that you don't invite them too closely into your confidence. I would not empower the rabble by sending a servant of the court to do their bidding. Ensure that your objectives come first in all things. You see the nobles milling about this court. You hear the anxiety and uncertainty of a conquered people. Day and night I audience declarations of fealty to curry favor. What you don't see are the dungeons beneath the court, and the hundreds of tearsmen who strained against Kairos' rule. I warrant that your Oathbreaker allies know a few of them, whether by blood or by allegiance. Let it be known that their lives are forfeit to the court's mercy, and any action meant to shatter what order we have established will be met with the swiftest reprisal. Blood will flow through these halls. Is that clear? 
I'm glad we understand each other. Be sure your new friends understand as well. Do not toy with the locals. Subjugate them if they will serve. Destroy them if they have exhausted their usefulness. I will not permit them to vanish into the tears, there to gather strength with renewed defiance for the Overlord. Your fellow Fatebinders have been busy acting as my eyes and ears. I have a few leads for you to follow. You should of course speak with your brothers and sisters of the court if you need further counsel. The Disfavored have made use of the Sage's network of dovecoats and messenger birds as they come under capture. I've heard multiple claims of strategic communications gone missing. The Sages are broken, their citadel in flames, but they were not slaughtered to the last. Some of their numbers still congregate around the smoking husk of their burning library. If they have been reading disfavored communications, learn what they learned, then execute them. The Oathbreakers were reported to be using iron armaments, more than they might acquire from looting what few disfavored they killed. Any iron in the tears not rusted through was made by forge-bound hands in Lethian's crossing. Between craftsman and quartermaster, someone let iron fall into enemy hands. Investigate this matter, and bring the thieves to justice. There is a final matter to discuss. A sensitive topic. In spite of the many shortcomings at Vendrian's Well, you managed to make a name for yourself. You proclaimed an Edict of Kairos, resolved its demanding conditions, and ascended the Mountain Spire. Any one of these feats would be worthy of recognition by the highest authority. You managed to accomplish three. It pleases me that you grasp your role, as long as you temper it with a sense of duty. Whether by design or by accident, you have captured the attention of Kairos' army and the local tearsmen alike. This is no small opportunity, and the court charges you with exploiting your new standing to its fullest potential. You have a title in our hierarchy. However, it's a little-known secret that one's standing in the world is determined by their infamy, their deeds, and how they come to be known. Mind this notion as you bring justice to this lawless frontier. There may come a time when your deeds speak for you louder than any title. If your killing spree in the bastard city is any indication, you are no stranger to spreading infamy already. Whatever you did to capture the attention of the masses at Vendrian's Well, I would encourage you to do so again. Good. It falls to us to set a new standard for these southern barbarians. You are dismissed. Should the court have need of your presence, you will receive word. Go forth and do my bidding, and bring glory and honor to the tears in Kairos' name.